it changed their lives, the most influential moment. So I want to share with that in a second. But for years, the fact that I was different was really something that bothered me. Till I realized that that's, that's my blessing. And Yonatan, it's just, it's your blessing. Your blessing is to go on your path, and it's a beautiful path. And uh, you should really, you should really own the fact that, as Mommy's going to mention later, how you do things in your own unique way. And it's a beautiful thing. And I enjoy every moment of your uniqueness. And that's my blessing to you. So I just want to <clears throat> end by saying, before I tell you the story, is that everyone got, got your little pages. And if you were at the previous bar of bat mitzvahs, you know what to do. So what I'd like everyone to do is that this is really going to be an incredible gift for, <clears throat> for Yonatan. Uh, you have pens. And then during the evening, I'd like you to fill them in. So, Yonatan Daniel Rubin. So it says, the first one, to be religious. Whatever comes to your mind, please share your wisdom with Yonatan. Please share your wisdom with Yonatan. What does it mean to be religious? Uh, and please write. And the second piece of wisdom, to succeed in life, share with Yonatan what you think people need to share to succeed in life. And uh, please, please take the time to do this. It's really important. It's important tonight. It's going to be even more important in a couple of years from now when Yonatan you know, looks at these and says, wow. Look at all the wisdom that was in the room of my bar mitzvah. So I please, I implore, please fill these out. So here's a story and I'll finish with that. I think the most influential moment of my life, yeah, I've told this story many, many times, but it really is, I think, what's the one story I want to share? We lived in a small town outside of Philadelphia called Westchester. Small town. And there was one religious family in town. We were it. And here I am, maybe nine, maybe ten years old, sitting on the top of the stairs. And I hear the following conversation happening in the living room between the president of the community and between the rabbi of the community, who was my father. So the president said, Rabbi, you cannot fly the Israeli flag above the American flag. We had two flag posts outside our front door. There was an American flag and there was an Israeli flag. Now you're allowed to fly any flag you want in, Israel, in America as long as the American flag is higher than the other flag. In our house, that's not the way it was. The Israeli flag was always higher. Because even though we were in Westchester, Pennsylvania, my father had never forgotten yeah, but it sounds better the way I tell it. Uh, <laughs> he never forgot. He never forgot. And I want you to know the most pivotal moment. This was like incredible. I next. So he said, "Listen, Rabbi, it's against the law. You're not allowed to do this. You have to. You have to make the flex even." And so my father said, "You know what? Okay, I'll fix it." And the next day, when I went out to the car to go to school, I see my father had fixed it, and he had made the Israeli flag even higher than before. Even higher. And I want you to know, <clears throat> you know, Tan, that was out of the box thinking. And that was, I expected, you know. And it's, it's had such an impact on me that my father had the guts to stand up to the president and stand up to the community and even stand up to the American law and say, listen, I know who I am. I've never forgotten who I am. And in our house, the Israeli flag is going to fly the highest. So I thank my father for the story. And uh, <laughs> and I'd like to invite Jonathan Daniel, who wants to share a few words.
אז באמת אני אגיד מה למדתי על תפילין. אבי לימד אותי שהתפילין של ראש היא כנגד מחשבה, התפילין של יד כנגד הרגשות. והרצון של התפילין של יד היא כנגד המעשה. כשאני לובש תפילין אני מרגיש שהתפגרתי, שעליתי רמה. הרצונות התפילין גורמים לי להרגיש כמו שאני קשור לתורה. אני חושב שהתפילין זה הדבר החשוב בשבילי. ושזה יכול להיות שתמיד להיות מוכן במצוות. יש אנשים שאני רוצה להודות להם. ברצוני להודות לסבא וסבתא שלי וכל המשפחה שמגיע במיוחד מארצות הברית, לחגוג יחד את בר המצווה שלי. אני גם רוצה להודות לבובי וזיידי על שנתנו לי במתנה את התפילין שלי. לסבא וסבא איץ, אני רוצה להודות על כך שבכל שבוע הוא מפיע אותי הביתה ברשומת ועד הפאק ובדרך כלל לבד אותי היסטוריה. ברצוני להודות גם לאבי שנר שירה שהם לא מכינו שיר לבור המצווה שלי. אני רוצה להודות למורה רבקה בורן שנתנה את הלב ולשמור על המנהל לקדם אותי. ולבסוף מהוריי, נהיה אמא, שלאורך כל השנים תמכה בי ועזרה לי כמובן שהייתי אצל חברה. בזכות המאמץ הגדול שלה אנחנו נמצאים כאן וחוגגים. לאבי, לאבי, שגם תמך בי לאורך כל השנים, תמיד עזר לי בעת צרה, בזכותו אני יודע הרבה מאוד דברים חשובים שעזרו לי לכל חיי, ולסיום אני רוצה לבקש מהקדוש ברוך הוא שישמור על משפחתי וכל עם ישראל.